In this reaction, we have NH4OH plus BaCl2. So to balance the equation, we'll use a trick that you can use with double displacement reactions like this reaction here. What we'll do is we'll count the polyatomic ions, this NH4, this ammonium ion, as just one item, because we have NH4 here and NH4 here. The OH, that's the hydroxide, we have it here and here, so we'll count that as one item as well. That makes it a lot easier to balance this equation. So let's count the atoms up on each side. We have one ammonium, one NH4. We have one OH, the hydroxide group, one barium, and two chlorines. On the product side, we have the one NH4. We have two of these hydroxides, two of these OH ions here. So we have two, barium, one, and chlorine, one. So let's first double the chlorines on this side, and that'll balance those. So we put a two in front of the ammonium chloride, we have one times two, so we have two chlorines, and then one times two for the ammonium ion. So now we have two of those, and it looks like if we can double our hydroxide and double our ammonium ion, we're done. Put a two in front of the ammonium hydroxide, one of these ammoniums times the two, those are balanced, the one hydroxide times the two, and that's balanced, and we're done. This equation's balanced. So counting these polyatomic ions is just one item if they appear on both sides. That really makes it easy to balance. It's less confusing. You don't have to count a lot of individual atoms. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for ammonium hydroxide plus barium chloride. Thanks for watching.